So today we're at Chabad Bowery. We're gonna go around in the East Village and we're gonna discover what the Israeli wine selection is like here. Let's go! Stigma around kosher wine that I found um, through the years that when people hear the word um, Israel, Israeli wine, they automatically think kosher. And when you think kosher, they automatically think Manischewitz sweet New York state wine. Not true. Yarden, Carmel, Temperberg, these are all wineries that will compete on a global level with other major regions like France, Spain, Italy that have wineries that have been around for hundreds of years. There's some really good quality kosher wines out there. So we got a good store over here on First Ave. I actually like their whiskey selection a lot. Let's go check it out. Wow, okay. So, Jardin Cabernet, nice. Solid bottle. Um, Gaulle Cabernet. Three Israeli wines. They're all actually from the same winery. Um, so what that tells me is that they don't know enough about Israeli wine because there's so many great wines that can compete with all the different wines on the shelf and there's a lot of work to do in this neighborhood. It's like 5.35 I think it's been there. Gotta pray. Gotta pray. Man's gotta pray. What am I gonna do? It's the East House and Wine and Liquors. We're gonna go check it out. Fun fact, less than a year ago, this place was so blocked up from the pandemic you couldn't even walk inside. But now, we're grateful that they're open we're gonna go check out their Israeli wine selection. Let's go. Okay, nice. Okay, so as you can see, there's a very small selection of kosher Israeli wine. So you have our Kanadi, who does a lot of work to try to get their wine on, onto the broad market. They're in locations that don't even have Jewish people, like in cities around the U.S. You have companies like Barkan, and then you have a Malbec from Mendoza that happens to be kosher that's bunched right up next to it. Here you have Portugal. You have a line of Melbecks. Each store does it a little differently, but you'll see some regions, you'll see some blends. The goal is to get Israeli wine to be just like a shelf with a region that says Israel on it, as opposed to kosher. If it says Israel, it could appeal to the broad market. Israeli wine is not only for Jewish people, it's for everyone, just like France, Italy, Spain. That's the goal. So this next place we're going to is right around the corner. Um, I've been in there a couple of times. We've had great conversations about Israeli wine, um, trying to break the stigma. I wonder if that same manager is going to be there or not. Let's see what they got. Voila. This is it. Yes. Distributors, sales reps, you got a lot of work to do in this neighborhood. Look at this. Only have like three wines, all from one distributor. Oh yeah. What is this? It's not even kosher. What's going on over here? Yeshiva Aretz, we got a lot of work to do in this place. They only have like three wines there. They have a white wine that's like three vintages back. Oy vey. They don't have anything good. Um, I mean, they have the Yardin and Mount Hermon, which is a good like entry level ten dollar bottle. They're selling it for fifteen, whatever, you know. But we could do we could do a lot of we could do a lot of good work in this neighborhood. Go Eagles! Go birds! Go birds! There you go. Hey, hey, Jake! <laughs> it's my hometown. So there's a bulletproof store around the corner. We're gonna walk in there just to check it out. I doubt we're gonna find any kosher wine, but we'll see what they got. Bread alone, my favorite bread. <laughs> Okay, so this is, this is basically where you go when it's late at night, nothing else is open. Check that. And it's a dingy, horrible place to shop, but let's go check it out. Do you have any Israeli wine by any chance? No sher wine over there, on top of the rosy. Um, okay, I see what you got. All the way on top. So I have to be like um, seven foot one to, I have to be like Amari Stoudemire to reach that bottle. <laughs> so they have a, a Lansour Cabernet for $11.99 and they have a Bart de Muro for $19.99. Not bad. You got anything for like $10? I don't think you have anything kosher for $10. $15.99 for a Burkhan Pinot Noir? Oh, hey. This is why people don't buy Israeli wine. Chilean Cabernet for $15.99. A non kosher Chilean Cabernet, just for reference, is like $5.99, $6.99, $8.99. This is like, unfortunately, what goes on in a lot of the stores. It's not just, not just this place. I'm sorry, but Baron Herzog Merlot is how much? $19.99? Yes. You gotta drop your prices, man. This is too expensive. Anyone Jewish comes in here, they're gonna, they're not gonna buy anything. You know what I mean? We sell a lot, nobody complains. You sell a lot of non-kosher and nobody complains. <laughs> 
You know what? You should have a section for Israel. I'd give you a list of some good Israeli wines, my top picks, and you put a section for Israel. No problem, thank you. Alright. I think you made enough ruckus in here for one day. Let's get out of here. Recap, this is why there's a stigma around kosher wine. It's because people walk into their closest store and they find wine that's like super overpriced. Artanura for $19.99. Baron Herzog Merlot for $19.99. Barkhan Pinot Noir for $15.99. These are all $10 bottles. That's why there's a stigma. That's really why. Um, what do you think? Should we head up to Astor Wines? <laughs> Mika is at 535. So I'm just Google mapping it to see if we could get there in time. And it's a 15 minute train ride from here, so that means we have exactly uh, like 20 minutes to get this next review done. Should we stop for a coffee? I think we have time for an espresso. Let's go. Like an espresso, just make it a little longer. He's almost getting it. It's okay, just make it a regular shot, it's fine. It's kind of impossible to drink espresso with a mask on, but 2021 probably. How was it? Biden won. Not bad. Yeah, um, back. Pretty soon the masks will be out of here. We'll be back, you know, in regular life. Holy cow. Holy moly, look at this guy. Coffee break took too long. It looks like we're going to have to leave Astor Place for another video. Uh, we'll definitely come back here. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out our Instagram page, Wines by Joseph, and the website, of course, winesbyjoseph.com, to see all the best wines for the best price, all my top picks, and uh, you know, see you in the next video.